All right, let's take a look at factoring, how to factor trinomials by grouping, as opposed to by trial and error using FOIL. This is from section 6.3. In your textbook, we're on example number one, page 365. As you've experienced already, some trinomials are pretty easy to factor, especially when the lead coefficient is one. Basically, what you're looking for, for example, in the first one, is you're looking for two numbers that multiply together to give you 12 and add together to give you negative 7. That's when you combine the outsides and the insides in the FOIL process. And the same thing, so those numbers are, are neg uh, negative 3 and negative 4. And of course, to put the final answer, to create the final answer, you make binomials. You put x in front of the binomial, and the same thing over here, and you wind up with that. So you're very well familiar with this process. And the other two are pretty straightforward. The numbers for the second one are 2 and 4, and the numbers for the last one are positive 12 and negative 6. So those aren't terribly difficult. Some of these, by the way, may not be factorable. The three that are here are factorable. So if you can't find the numbers, then we say that the trinomial is prime or nf, not factorable. Here's another example where the lead coefficient is not 1, it's 2. But um, we're going to use trial and error here, and there really are four different possibilities. So we've got to do a little bit of work here, through, and, and with, with my luck, or our luck, it might be the last one that would be the answer. That's not the case, but I might wind up, you know, spending two minutes or three minutes trying to try all the possibilities, it might be the last one. It so happens that this one is the right one, okay? We get 2x times x is 2x squared up on front. And then 2 times 3 is 6, which is the product of those two has to be 6. How do we get 7? 7 doesn't show up. Well, 7 actually shows up when you do the outsides and the insides. You get uh, 3 times 2x is, whoops, I guess that's wrong. Huh, that's not right. Let's try this one as the right answer, right? Okay. So I wind up with uh, two x, um, 3 times x is 3x for the insides, and 2x times 2 is 4x. 3x and 4x is 7x. So like I said, uh, this one is the correct answer, second one. Trial and error, once again. Now as we get, as the numbers get larger, negative 16 is, has a lot of factors. 3 is not bad because it's the only way you can form 3x squared is by multiplying 3x by x. Can you imagine if this was like a 6, right? The lead coefficient was a 6. Or how about a 12? I think you can see that we might be here for a long time. Even with the existing problem with all the different factors of 16, we have six different choices. And we got to just by, do by exhaustion, by trial and error, we have to find out the right one. Turns out that, I think I'm right this time, the uh, correct one is the very first one. Could have been the very last one, but it wasn't. I don't think I want to do trial and errors, too. It's getting to a little bit, too, looks like it's a lot of work and a lot of trial and error, really. A lot of opportunities for errors. All right, let's notice this. When you have factored a trinomial with the lead coefficient that isn't 1, you might get something like this. Here's a trinomial. Let's suppose we know what the factors are, okay? And then in order to check to make sure that it's right, I would multiply these two out. And we would use a distributive property. And so we could do FOIL, but I'm going to use a distributive property. You take 3x and multiply it by 2x to get this part. And then you take 3x and multiply it by Five to get the second part. Shifting over using distributive property, negative two times two x, and then you get the last one is that was that one, and then negative two times five. Okay, and when we um, do our multiplications and do our simplifications, I wind up with this. And I want to focus on this right now. Okay, I want to focus on that. 
6x squared plus 15x minus 4x minus 10. That's very, it's very important why it turned out to be that way. So positive 15 and negative 4, right? So why did we get that? Well, we got that because if you, if you multiply 15 times negative 4, you get negative 60. And when you combine 15 and negative 4, you get 11, which is the middle term. But wait a second. Negative 60, I thought it was supposed to be negative 10. I thought they were supposed to be multiplied together to give you negative 10. No, because of the leap coefficient, notice what happens when you multiply 6 times negative 10. You get negative 60. And then why is it 15 times negative 4? Because when you add 15 and negative 4, you get 11, which is precisely the number, the coefficient in the middle. So this is much less trial and error. It's working with um, uh, integers. You can use your calculator. It could be quick. Sometimes this will take you a little bit of time, but it's not nearly going to take as long in the process to do this, uh, this by this particular technique. So let's finish it off, okay? So here's how it works. Next, examples. We want to factor this. Okay, what do we do? First thing, we multiply the first term times the last term, and we get 36. The first coefficient, rather, times the last, co last term, which is 36. Now, we want to find two numbers whose multiply together to give me 36, and then look in the middle there, and whose sum is negative 13. Well, the numbers are negative 4 and negative 9, aren't they? What we're going to do now is, is factor by grouping. We're going to make a group on the left-hand side, these term, two terms, and a group on the right-hand side. Greatest common factor, just the terms on the left, is 2x. The other factor is 3x minus 2. So it's a, it's, a bit, it's a little GCF problem, greatest common factor. Do the same thing over here. Whenever there's a negative in, uh, as a coefficient up in front of this x, you always bring it down, and then you, uh, you, you take out the, the largest negative greatest common factor, which is negative 3. Okay? And then negative 3 times 3x is negative 9x, and negative 3 multiplied by negative 2 is positive 6. Now, what is the greatest common factor between the two terms that you have? Here's one term, and here's the other term. The greatest common factor is 3x minus 2. Okay? And so we write that down one time. What's left after you, after you, what do you need in order to get this whole first term? Well, what's left is a 2x, so we put it right here, and a minus 3, we put it right there. Okay? So the 2x comes right here. And that's it. And if you FOIL these two guys out, you wind up with 6x squared minus 13x plus 6. One more problem. You want to factor 20x squared minus 4x minus 7. Okay. First coefficient multiplied by the last term, or the last coefficient, is negative 140. We'd like to find two numbers whose product is negative 140. And they also have to add up to negative 4. The numbers um, have to be, one has to be negative and one has to be positive. And I think you can see easily enough that, I don't, I don't even need my calculator, but um, the numbers are negative 14 and 10. We uh, factor by grouping, split it down the middle, one group, first group and second group. Greatest common factor in the first group is 2x, the other factor is 10x minus 7. Uh, the greatest common factor of 10x minus 7, you might say there isn't any, but there is. There's always a greatest common factor, and it, it might be sometimes plus 1 and minus 1. This time it's plus 1 because of the positive sign, and the other factor is 10x minus 7. You know that you've done this problem right when this parentheses and this parentheses are the same. If they're not the same, you have made an error. Go back and check your work. Okay, greatest common factor, well, we've got a 10x minus 7 in both of these terms. There are really just two parts, so I put that down here. That's the greatest common factor one time, and then what's left over, I got a 2x and I got a 1, and I fill that in right here. Foil it out, and guess what? You get 20x squared minus 4x minus 7. Much better than 
foil trial and error, no comparison.